All right, guys, welcome back, and thanks for following with us uh, here to Maui. Part three. Part two. Part, part two. No, part two, part, part two, two, part two. Okay, so uh, if you guys Sorry. haven't checked out our part Oahu uh, video last week, we were in Honolulu, but this week we're here in Maui. The flight only took like 20 minutes. Yes, if you guys ever travel from Honolulu to, to Maui, it literally is like 20 minutes, right? Uh-huh. Went up, and then before we know it, we're down. I know. It's All right. so fast. So one of the best things about Maui is, Maui is fish food, just like uh, Honolulu. And today we're gonna check out a restaurant. It's called Coconut Fish Cafe. Coconut, yeah, coconut fish, fish, cafe. fish Cafe. I wonder and if there's a lot of coconutty stuff. Yeah, too. hopefully there is. We, we might order some uh, coconut shrimp. Guys, but it's not Coconut Fish Cafe. It's the Fish Cafe, and Coconut owns it. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay. I've, they got crazy good reviews, guys. Yeah. So we're gonna see if it lives up to the hype. Guys, they're the number one taco in Hawaii and the number 17 in the US. That the is America. exactly what I was about to say, but Devin just gave it away. That is amazing. So we're gonna order that fish taco that this place is so famous about, and then also their coconut shrimp, and any other items that we think is pretty amazing and the, and to the showcase. Famous stuff. The that's famous right, stuff. that's right. Yeah. So we're uh, all geared up to, uh, to eat and check out this menu. So let's go inside. Let's, let's go. go. Do, 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 do. Can I get the fish and chips, please? The fish tacos, appetizer, of coconut shrimp, gahi poke, another fish taco, coconut fries. So we finally got all our food and check out this view right here. Oh no. my this god! This one's the coolest in my opinion. So pretty. Guys, look at all these shrimp. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, this is the coconut shrimp. And this is their famous fish taco. All of us, all of us got one. And all this stuff is famous. Bro, it goes boing, boing. Look at that, Devin, show them how thick that taco is. It's like this thick. Okay. Oh. And we also picked up a couple of appetizers. We have some ahi pokey. And this is what they call the what the volcano, volcano fries. fries. Yeah. yeah. They it's actually like said it's sriracha. spicy AF. Yeah, sriracha okay. stuff and like kurakake. All right, guys. So we're gonna start off down the list, starting with the appetizers. Okay. okay. Appetizer. <laughs> All right. First thing we're gonna get. Devin, pick up an appetizer. More poke. This is poke. Okay. There's some soy sauce. When you come to a Hawaiian island, you've got to have poke. Oh. And this is what the island is famous for. Let's go. Ahi tuna. Here we go. Take a look. Yeah. Ooh. This one's good. Chunky. Me. With great sesame oil and like shoyu flavor. And, and on the side. It's not too salty or anything. Whoa, that's good. They got some crispy ginger. Oh, you guys gotta try this ginger. It cleanses the palate big time. Mmm. Okay, we had pokey here on the island before, but not at this place. And this is the first time I've seen that they put some wasabi on the side for us. Mmm. It's going up my nose. It's like nice and um, aroma y. Yeah. Definitely, Very good. definitely gotta get pokey when you come to the island. What should we move on to, guys? Volcano Let's do fries. volcano fries. Guys, okay, we saw a review online, and this one reviewer just said spicy AF. Like the no nothing else, just spicy AF. But you know what? It doesn't even look all that spicy. Yeah, let's try it. So they got sesame, that got, I think they Smell have spicy. furikake, and then they also have uh, sriracha aioli. Yeah. Let's go. Volcano fry. Can you handle the heat? It's not that spicy. That person is just kind of whipping. Uh, uh, Sorry, guys. That person was a little weak. No problem. No problem. Dust yourself weak. off. No problem. Mm. Oh, look at that. This isn't so even spicy. Sweet. It's just like flavor. It, no, it's just like um, if you just put maybe like some mayo and some yeah, Look at this. Oh, like, the farikake is very sweet. I mean, like. The sesame and the, the seaweed is like the crunch, like a little like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. The flavor is really awesome. Mm -hmm. Easy to eat, actually very fun. Okay, very fun. So we only got two things on the appetizer. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. I accidentally ordered coconut shrimp. Accidentally. And I'll tell you how I accidentally ordered, okay? Uh, so Devin was ordering up in the front 
uh, you guys may have seen in the previous like clip but like I forgot he ordered some uh, coconut shrimp and then I found coconut shrimp on the menu and so I decided to order coconut shrimp not knowing that Devon ordered mm -hmm. so he has the uh, coconut Guys, if you don't know Uncle Eric he has amnesia <laughs> <laughs> he has amnesia. Oops! He got he got the coconut shrimp and chips, right? Yeah. So this is the coconut shrimp. Look at that. Big chunks of coconut. Remember to take your medicine later. Okay. And some like sweet and sour sauce. For now, let's take a bite out of this coconut shrimp. Mmm. Whoa! Look at that. Whoa. Oh, very coconut. Very coconut. That's so tender. Mmm. That's the first thing I wanted to say. But Kaden beat me to it. So coconut. -y. So sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like crispy. It's so coconutty. It's almost on the side of pineapple. Mm -hmm. Or like a it, it like a tropical. So, like, like tropical and fresh. Like you know that distinct coconut flavor. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like frying it enhances it. <laughs> and then the meat is so soft and tender. It's and like look. look at this. Look at this. Devin Shun. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You like bite into it like butter. Uh huh. Mmm, that's good. And then they have this uh, spicy, sweet, and sour tangy sauce. The sauce is like duck sauce. Duck sauce? If you guys follow our videos, I think Devin in a previous video mentioned what his favorite sauce is. You said I, sauce. Oh, no! I was gonna say, if you guys know exactly what Devin's favorite sauce is, leave your comments down below, right? Let us know if you've been following us. I didn't say anything. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, we'll bleep. Let's you know what? That. Let's just bleep that part out. We're gonna bleep that out. Yeah. So it'll be like, it's, if Kaden is deep, if, if Kaden slipped, we're gonna bleep that out. Yeah. All right. Since you have the um, coconut shrimp, why don't we move to the main event? Okay. This is what. Well, this is what we're here for. What we're here for. And Devin, in the it, it previously mentioned, what? Look, what? Look, look. What? Oh, hey, oh, that was a clutch move. That was a clutch move. That's so clutch and bombastic. All right, guys. So as Devin was saying earlier, I think he was saying what? Number one. Fish tacos in Hawaii. Hawaii, number 17 in the USA. Yes. That is amazing. Okay, watch. While Devin is, uh, is digesting that big bite, let's check out what he was eating this whole time. Kaden, you and I are gonna catch up to Devin. Right, go. He tricked us. No, I tricked you. Mm. All right, take a look right here. I'm gonna take a big bite just like Kaden. Here we go. Hey, you have something on your lips. Oh. Oh. Mm. I'm gonna wait for you guys to see. Oh, yeah, the next party? Mm. Okay. Okay. One word. I think we all know what it is. Three, two, one. Wow. 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 I thought the, the tortilla would be like, like soft and mushy, but this one's so crunchy stuff. It's crunchy, right? Ooh, great flavor. Kevin. Tell them exactly what's inside. I think there's some like mango, which is very weird. Look at this. Something special. Mm -hmm. And then there's tomatoes, some yeah. lettuce. Big chunks of cabbage. Mm -hmm. Not lettuce, it's cabbage. But what is this fish? What type of fish? Guys, this is probably like tuna or mahi-mahi. Mahi-mahi. Or ono. Any of them. I don't know. If you guys know exactly it's what kind like of fish. Really, like, Oh man, I, I love this taco. The pineapple go and the tomato go so good. Too. Yeah. Number one on the island, I believe it. I believe it too. Number 17 in the USA. I believe it. I believe it. It's, it's believable. It's believable. Wow. That is amazing. I never I thought... I never thought I would try a taco that's so good here in Hawaii. Wow. Number one. Number one. Competing against, you know, there are a lot of different taco places in the U.S., right? But this is a different angle. This is like a fish. But like the tacos when we went go to like Los Angeles like or like brown, Santa Barbara, it's, like beef, it's more Mexican. Yeah, like carne asada and stuff. Right, yes. completely different. Wow. It's fish tacos. That is so good, guys. So 
If you guys have a chance to come to Maui, uh, definitely check this place out. I think they also have a couple of different restaurants in Arizona. Uh, we saw it's a chain, but it's a really good chain. All right, that's our honest opinion. I got the special fish and chips. They said this is the second most famous thing on their menu. All right, take a look at this. Fish and chips. Fish and chips? But this one looks so like exotic. It's like more brown. It's exotic? Yeah. <laughs> What kind of fish do you think this is? Maybe like a fish. I don't know, but it's, it's like a white flaky fish. Hey, let, let's, let, let's break mean, a piece too. Not, not flaky meat. It's an exotic... Ah. Mm. It's an exotic Guys, silverback tiger fish. Okay, here we go. I'm good. It's an exotic silverback lion fish. Tiger you heard that? Exotic silverback... Lion fish. Lion fish. Mommy. Oh, Eric, ugly fish. Okay. On the side, they give us some tartar sauce. We should dip it. Slow. We should dip it. I want to dip it. Here we go. Oops. Oh no. Look at this. Let's try. Here we go. Mmm. So crispy. And like the meat, the fish is like so meaty. That tartar sauce though, it I hits different. It's, hey, almost, well, it's almost like a tzatziki sauce. Right, the Greek. Like uh, the Greek one. That's the Greek one that we had, right? But without yogurt. The fish is a little bit more steakish, mm -hmm. so it's very, very meaty. That's what I said. Right. Look at that. This is like it's a like steak. This is like a steak right here. Right here. Oh no. Oh, is that what it is? Oh no. That's what we thought. All right. So we had a customer here that mentioned to us that. This is Ono, and it is a big, chunky piece oh, no. of it's fish. It's not like flat fish. Yeah, so we're gonna well, take a look. Put, put an image of Ono right here. Yeah. yeah. Because if it's chunky, yeah. and if you get, if you run into it and you get it mad, yeah. oh no. Oh no. <laughs> All right, like Hayden said, we'll put an image of the Ono fish up here, so you guys get to see exactly what kind of fish we're having. But um, I think that's gonna do it for us at this, um, Coconuts Fish Cafe. Okay. This place is pretty, pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. They're on the rating. Kaden wants to say something. What do you? What would you give this one right here? This is a nine out of ten. In my opinion. Nine out of ten. I would give this an eight point five out of ten. I'll give it an eight point five as well. Okay. Let's talk about the coconut shrimp. Coconut shrimp. Seven out of mm. ten. Nine out of ten for me. Nine out of ten for me too. Okay. Not what bam because it's a little too sweet for shrimp if you know what I mean. That's right. That's right. We gotta be more critical, right? Yeah. All right. What but the soft is really well. That's right. I like that. We, we already gave you our honest opinion on the fish taco, right? Hands down, well, bam. Well, bam. What okay. about this? This, I think it's really fun to eat. I give this like an 8 out of 10. I give it like a 7. 7 out of 10? And then what about the um, poke? poke? Uh, 7 out of 10. Okay. I don't think this place specializes in poke. Because yep. Poke is like raw. Yep. Their, their toppings are like traditional, very traditional, very yummy. Well. But. I'd give this one like an average score, like maybe like 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10? Okay. Like it's average. Well, you know, po the Poké game is very competitive. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Can't be good at everything. Yeah. Right? But well, you, you can be good at like some, some things. things. Right? If you guys know a restaurant that's good at everything, please let us know because yeah. we'll McDonald's. be there. We're gonna fly there. <laughs> just McDonald's. Devin says it's McDonald's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. McDonald's is hot trash. <laughs> All right, guys, you heard it from us. Um, again, thanks for watching. This is our uh, first um, restaurant in stop in Maui. We're gonna continue to hit up other places uh, throughout the island and enjoy different activities. Uh, afterwards, maybe Devin is gonna show you the Food Navigator crib and it's give you a, give you a, a sense of what our crib is like yeah, and where we're staying. FNTV crib. Yeah. FNTV. Navigator TV crib. That's right. Uh, as usual, give us a big thumbs up, yeah. like thumbs this up. video, comment down below, and Kaden, tell them about our subscription. If you subscribe, we are legally cool. <laughs> yeah. And remember to share this with your friends, with your pet, with your mom, with your dad, and your grandma. And click who's in the coffin. That's right. And click that bell icon so you always get notified when we post our next video. And uh, don't go too far away because, again, Devin's going to showcase the Food Navigator crib uh, in a little bit. So we'll see you shortly. See ya.
Oh, I guess you guys followed us home. Well, I guess I'll just have to show you the Food Navigator crib. Come on in. Alright, first. Welcome to the we, crib. We got the flower hallway. The flower hallway. This place costs two million dollars to make. Yeah, this part. Just this part. The cool fence lighting. We own this place, like on. See this water slide? This costs like a billion dollars. No, it's really expensive. It costs like 500 mil, I think. Like 500 yeah. mil for this. And then we got the koi pond. We have like like, like uh, 16 and there's some carrots. Some what, carrots. what are their names? Uh, Taekwaganesha. No, all of them are just named Taekwaganesha. Yeah, all, all of them. Are, every, even the fish. They're yeah. all named Taekwaganesha. Like, look, look, look at that. Oh, let me see. That's Taekwaganesha. That one's also Taekwaganesha. Taekwaganesha. Oh, Taekwaganesha. Up, type uh, and the we heard, right there. We heard you got some birds. Yes. Yeah, oh. we got some birds. Can you show us your birds? Yeah, but I don't, right think, I don't think. Right I don't think. I don't think we let them out. Yeah, but let's just see who did. What's up, Tycoganisha? Those are my boys, Tycoganisha. You know them. What's up, Tycoganisha? What's up, Tycoganisha? Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty cool. Here so we got our, all of our gyms. Right, and so then far, here are all the guest rooms. So far, how much is the budget for this house? Uh, not that much. Maybe like uh, 60 trillion. So far, 60 trillion. Yeah, and guys, these are all our guest rooms. Uh, this is like another. All of this. But there's one magic room. It's called 849. Oh, days. and guess how much this bench is? 30 million dollars. 30 mil. Yeah, 30 mil. We got Drop our. We got more. This. Yeah. Uh, and that's that. the bridge that takes us into the water. Exploding, exploding on we the We got water. elevator for all our floors. Alright guys, so this is the elite elevator. We're going to our master bedroom, but we have 11 floors and we got hand sanitizer. Like a station. Yep. So, it may look normal, but it's actually not. Alright, it might look a little messy because we've stayed here before. I mean, we do stay here. There's, like our little, there's literally our crib. Crib. Look at this. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Tell right. me this isn't cool. This room just Tell by itself costs cool. one million dollars. No, it costs more than one million. It costs like I I say this room costs like a hundred billion thousand and million guys, million. Th this is where most of our money comes in. See all these trees and pools. Yeah. Yes. All. Guess guess what all this costs. You, our viewer, guess. Like. You think like a thousand? Hmm. I wish. I wish. This is actually uh, more than Donald Trump. Oh, this is what? 60 billion, thousand, million, millions of millions of Donald Trumps. This thing right here costs more than the Earth. Imagine that, but yeah. to the power of 10. This is one of our many, many vacation homes. I know. This is actually the smallest. I know. This is the smallest. And the we have a private jet. Like, I think it's 20 times the size. Yeah. We, have, we have a rocket powered jet. It only costs jet. like. Six of the suns, not yeah. that much. Got it. Yeah, it's not that much. And the and moon, here, we also own the moon, by the way. This, these beds, both of them, this one cost us 200 suns, and, and this one cost us 200 moons. And the sheets are made of champagne marinated tiger skin. Yeah, and then the pillows are made of champagne marinated lion skin with some dragon breath. And then inside here, we just got the normal Joe's fridge. I think that's enough. You've been here for a long time, haven't you? You're a big boy, huh? You're you're a big boy now, huh? Are you trying to steal something? Yeah, but you've had your fun. Now it's time to get out. Bye bye.